Hello everyone and thank you for coming to my channel. That's Deb Chanel's 48's World. If you just happenly stumbled by and didn't know where you were at. Come on in the room. And half this stuff I talk about is really none of my business. But when it sparks the interest of hmm, curiosity, I come on down to the um, sitting room or the recording room I like to call it. Slash home office and i like to get on the tube and welcome my family in for those who want to partake with a little gossip drama you know someone else to talk to so I'm up, i won't be up here talking to myself okay so welcome 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 on in the room but we're going to be talking about in this video candy burris and all the other young ladies out there who wants to be a trophy winner or a recipient of a trophy from the People's Award. And Candy Burris Tucker feels that she's done a lot to deserve such an honor. But again, it's none of my business. I don't know why she wants to win this particular award. Does any monetary type of check come with this? Or it's just another trophy like we used to collect when we were back in primary school and high school. Okay, and you might have gotten a little trophy here and there depending if you were in sports uh, or some type of debate club in college. Alright, but Candy feels she has done a lot to deserve this award. And of course, I think she was up for it last year and she didn't win. But she really feels that other people, such as the Kardashians, always win. And she's feeling some kind of saltiness about it. Now, we all know, and she has definitely expressed it herself, that she's extremely competitive. But again, when somebody loses, someone wins. Someone wins, someone loses. So, my thing, are you likable? Do people want to just turn on their television set and view your episodes or whatever show you're on? Now, only thing I can say when I think of Candy, I think of Escape. And that's just where, you know, a background singer. And I think of Candy Coated Nights. And I think of Sex Toys. Those are pretty much the only ideas I get when you say her name. Household name as far as being on a very popular sitcom show or whatnot. I know. Because when I tune in for all the mess and drama on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, I'm looking for Nene, Sadra, Portia, Kenya, and maybe a side plate of Marlo. But that's pretty much it. The other women, it's just an added addition. You know what I'm saying? Just like commercials come in after a featured story that you're watching has aired. Or it went to commercial and then you have these, you know, <sighs> added pieces of commercial advertisement. Or the, how the British say advertisement. <laughs> but anyway. Tomato, tomato, right? But Candace, like, really wanting people to go out there and vote for her for this 2021 uh, People's Choice Awards. So, hey, guys. Uh, please go out there and vote for her if you know how to vote because I'm not interested in it at all. But I just thought it was just kind of childish in a way because if you got nominated, that's good. You know, I want to be nominated if I was an actress or, you know, out there in the film industry, I would want to be recognized by my peers on a good piece of film. You know what I'm saying? Something that was like humanitarian, it was very thought provoking, and it changed people's lives. You know, and either I had those type of acting skills where I would make you cry at the drop of a hat on whatever scene. Then, you know, I feel I did my job. I was very um, in tune with my craft. Now, only thing 
I'm seeing Candy is wanting to get a war for. It's being on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And do whatever she does. Which I'm still trying to find that out. Only thing that I've seen her do was tote messages. To try to stir up gossip. Um, get Kenya Moore back on the show. Uh, I'm pretty sure she did a lot of behind the scenes type of, you know, uh, petitioning for that to happen. Mm, and she thinks that she is the be it eat, the be it all when it comes to escape. Forgetting about the two major sisters, the Scott sisters, that can really blow their asses off. I mean, they can sign. And even a tiny can do a little something, something, okay? But she just feels that that is her group. She's done it all. Da 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 da. I'm like, girl, you are a background singer. You barely could do that, and then you couldn't really dance. But I can't dance myself, so I can't be too hard on you on that. But if it wasn't them, if it wasn't for the Scott sisters and Tiny, I don't think it would be a group and Kevin Ken, uh, Kenny has definitely tried to come out and play her solo part on different songs she tried to be a, a solo singer and and do her own music and that didn't really work out then she tried to be a part of the play to tap into those other skills in film and acting and that that didn't do too well either so I don't I don't know. I guess she's a very good producer. I haven't seen the play that she has produced on and and put out, but I'm hearing good reviews, but it didn't make it to main screen and since we have Ovid still out there, it, I have to stream it. I can't just go into a theater and be around a lot of people. Maybe that's a phobia I have right now, but if I don't know you that well, and I don't know if you carry yourself appropriately, like wearing your mask all the time, sanitizing, you know, yourself pretty much how you're supposed to when you're touching things of that nature. I just can't afford it. I, I definitely have been vaccinated Pfizer twice. Don't plan on getting a booster because I don't know. I've just not been feeling well since I've had those two shots. But that's neither here nor there. It has nothing to do with this video, right? That I have to do another video on that separately. But yeah, Candy came out telling every news uh, site that would talk to her about it. But we're going to go with Yahoo uh, Life. They brought this out on uh, E! News. They brought it out interviewing uh, Candy about the uh, 2021 People's Choice Awards and you know how she feels about it and this that and the third so we'll just go right on into it it was mike Velopo who wrote the article he titled it no one wants to win a 2020 people's choice award more than candy burris I'm like ain't the people's choice for us it's a kid thing y'all get down in the comments and tell me because i'm like girl because i think the people's choice award they really did come out in the kitty the, the teens, or maybe that team award. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, it goes in to say, it's safe to say the reality stars 2021 is one for the books. The excitement is palpable, palpable for the Real Housewives of Atlanta, Candy Burris, following news of her reality TV star of 2020 nomination at this year's People's Choice Awards. First of all, let me just say... That's Candy talking. I'm so excited that they even considered me. But I need you. I need you to vote for me. She exclaimed. Exclusively with ease backstage pass. I feel like I've been doing this thing for so long. That can I get a little something to walk away with. The Grammy Award winner. Songwriter joke with a laugh. And I'm like if we still talking about that. Uh, was it Screw Up song by TLC that they wrote? <sighs> That's just like a dead horse put a fork in the stake. It is well done. Can we give some other accolades that she have produced and wrote on 
and then given out to certain artists and made millions off of it. Can, can we get something like that? Because right now, we still talking about that TLC squirrel. Honey, Tiny is fussing with her about that, too, because Tiny says she wrote it. So, I don't know if it well, really was a combination of the two or Tiny wrote a little bit and Candy just wrote the majority, like an 80-20, 60-40 type deal. Don't know. But I'm like, give us something else, Candy. <sighs> Because I'm like, if they nominated you for the Real Housewives of Atlanta, then I need to go see what were they, what was the criteria? What were they looking for to make them want to choose you? Because Kenya really should have got the war. Portia could have got it. Hell, Nene could have got it on how the drama she put out on the show before she had left the season that she was in because she was coming hard in them streets talking about what she gonna do how she gonna do it you know racism discrimination sexism oh she was going down the whole gamut but we you know we just let that go because time has went over it's water under the bridge she's had a, a major life change in her life with losing her husband Greg and, and you know she can't sell her mansion over there she had to cut the cost on the mansion and I really thought it was gonna sell so she can sell right on out of Georgia and go to Hollywood and do what ungodly things she probably would be doing up there who knows or getting her life on with another man or whatever but just not down here in Atlanta because I, I think she's tired I think she wants to spread her wings and there's nothing wrong with that she don't live here hell all her life pretty much all her, her younger years her adult years and going into her seasons polished years okay so she can go somewhere else for a while and if she wants to come back and retire when she gets 70 or whatever Georgia always be home for so yeah, go spread your wings. But she first got to sell that mansion over there. And she done slashed the prices by 200000 So I'm like, ooh, nanny. I don't know why your house ain't selling. Because it looks gorgeous. It looks gorgeous, girl. But I don't know. Maybe they just don't want to get the money to you. Anyway, going back to the article. And we were talking about Candy and her appeal to the public for them to vote for her. Well, this prestigious award. I mean, it ain't like she, it's a Grammy she walking away with or a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, you know, something. It's just like this empty title award that you want for work that you really didn't put in. You know, especially if we just going strictly by you being on the cast of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Because I'm still trying to figure out, why are you here again? Why are you here again? Okay. But that's nor here nor there. She's been there for a while. And she ain't leaving until the fat lady sing. Okay. Or she has something else to do. And it's going to take precedence. And pay her a hell of a lot more. Than what the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Other than that. She will be here. Doing her advertisement. Taking her money. Investing in other lucrative business deals. And and we'll just watch her grow and grow and grow. Okay. But then we go back to the article. It says the thoughts of a colored man. Broadway producer is nominated for a reality TV star and the race is tighter than ever among the nominees. Boris would go head to head with Erica Mena. I think Erica Mena over there in love and hip hop or something, ain't she? And she's married to him. Which I thought uh, Erica Mena, Mena married to. Who is Erica Mena married to? Yeah, she's married to Safari. Some loving hip hop or loving Miami. Hell, I don't know. Y'all, y'all know I'm gonna get down with those really show. Cause they, they hurt my head. They really hurt my head. With all the foolishness that goes and comes on those shows or reality younger kid shows, I should say, or, or young adult shows. And then somebody named Joe Amabel or Annabal or something like that. Uh, but we know Kardashians. We know the um, Chloe Kardashian, Kim Kardashian. Yes, the Kardashian show. Kind of witchy over there, but you know, they've been doing it for a long time. People just are mesmerized at them. They just wear too much black for me. You know what I'm saying? It, it just, they look spooky. I'm just not going to lie to you. They, they look spooky. But she's uh, running against them, and then she's running against Lisa Renna. And uh, Lisa Renna. Is she a part of the Housewives? I think she a part of the, one of the Housewives franchise. Uh, then you got Mike, the situation. He's on Jersey's show. Is that show still any? Is it still running or something? 
So I'm like, why, why is she, she running against uh, the situation? What is he doing? What he in jail for drug possession or something? Or illicit drugs or taking them, overdosing? Ooh, I'm just making up scenarios. And then we got Nicole Snooky Pel- Pelosi, or Pelosi. And, and I think she's a part of Jer- 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 Jersey show, too. I'm like, what is this, a kid's thing? The people choice of one? Somebody get out on them comments and tell me. Because it just seems like the people we're talking about, these are some young folks besides the Kardashians. But because Chloe and Kim, they're older. But, you know, uh, the younger ones. In their early 20s, I guess, you know, I don't know why Candy won't this award, but she begging y'all. She begging y'all for y'all vote for the 2021 People's Choice Awards, and she needs y'all to act appropriately. She wants y'all to put her in that winning seat, that winning ticket that gives her that little trophy to take home and put on her mantelpiece. I don't know why she don't go for a Grammy, but again, we I kind of know why, because she can't sing. She's a background singer now. It ain't nothing wrong with a background singer. It ain't that, because Luther Vandross was a background singer, but we we know, you know, you know how he be doing. A house is not a home when I climb the stairs and turn the key. Please be there still in love. Yes, honey, that's Luther girl. That well, ain't one Luther me sing. I was singing it, but y'all probably didn't appreciate it. But that's another here, nor there either. But yes, um, who else was some background singers? I can't think of it right now. And it's, it always don't come to me when I'm trying to tell y'all who I'm talking about. But a lot of background singers around here that had a chance to do their solo digs. And they went on and did quite well. But Candy wasn't that fortunate. So I don't know. Maybe in her mind, in her bubble that she lives in, she's this entertainer like Mariah Carey, Diana Ross. Um, who else we got? Um, Lord, I can't go. C- C- Celine, what minute? Celine, what's her name? Dion Celine or Celine? C- Shit, I can't even think of that lady name. But y'all know who's married to the old man. Celine Dion. There we go. Celine Dion. She she thinks she's somebody like that, I think. I don't know what's wrong with Candy these days. You know, she ain't no Aretha Franklin or Jennifer Hudson. She can't blow no tune. She can't even hold a tune, but you know, there's nothing here nor there. That's that's my opinion. Other people may not feel the same, but I'm just giving y'all what she gave me when I had the opportunity to listen to her try to sing. Uh yeah. Okay, but going back to the article, um, uh, she says I need something from all my hard work and all the years that I put into reality TV. Candy, what reality TV show you was on other than The Real Housewives of Atlanta? And we barely wanted to watch you. We didn't want you. We we, we adored your mama and your aunts. Now, they gave us quite a chuckle here and there. And we loved the friendship you had with Phaedra. But even Phaedra outshined you. Portia outshined you. Kenya outshined you. On a worse day, when we didn't, y'all weren't giving us anything. Hell, uh, Cynthia came out with her face. And her fashions. And she outshined you. So I'm trying to figure. You said reality TV. Girl what are you talking about? I know you're talking about that big brother thing. That Tamar won on your behind. Because you tried to uh, win that as well. But that didn't quite work out either. And. Uh, I mean you had a little stink. With your uh, stint. I should say with. Um, being on a show. Where it was showcasing escape. And then you kind of looked like a heel there. Like somebody just really a narcissist. A person that basically was just one that gets on folks nerves. And people just want to excommunicate them out of their environment. You know because hell even Tiny got tired of you. She said girl if you want to sing. Sing if you want to be a part of the group. Be a part of the group. But damn make up your mind. Even Tiny got on your behind. And I was here for it. Because I, I was just tired of it. I was really tired of it, Candy. You didn't want to dance. You didn't want to sing. You just had like you had a whole attitude going on. On those. On the little time that we had to see you on that show. Where you could have showcased yourself. Being a leader. But you thought them girls were coming back. And wanting to steal some of your thumbs. And some of your shine. By being on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I know. You felt they thought they you gonna throw them a bone and they gonna ride your coattail because you's on this you know uh, ratchet TV show, reality show, and that fosters nothing good, nothing good. We just come for the kikis and the laughs, and we really hope you women don't really act that way in real life. But 
you know, giving a take. And we've seen some of y'all like Nene go out there. She does, you know, show her ass whenever she gets a chance. But she don't want to be bothered. And that's half the time, all the time when she comes out amongst the public. Unless I guess you go soon. Nah, because she cut up in the Lanethia Lounge too. We had some people come out on the YouTube and was saying how disappointed they felt Nene was to them. I mean, is it? I mean... Woo! Okay, I think um, Nene thinks she white. I, I think she thinks she's, in, you know, she, she knows she's black. But I think she thinks she's stuck in a uh, black person body, but she's really white. Okay? She exudes whiteness. So, and that comes privilege. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, just being truthful about it. Uh, but, yeah, Nene's stuck somewhere down there. But anyway, Candy is pretty much saying she wants y'all to vote for her. Okay? Especially because she's definitely been booked and busy this year. She's asking for y'all to vote for her. Um, she's asking y'all to tell all your friends to vote for her. Spread the word out. You know, she kind of joked about the fierce competition among the other nominees. Every year the Kardashians win. Every year when I see them on the list, I'm like, ah, oh, what's the point? Now, I'm, I'm asking the same thing, too. What's the point? Why do you want to put yourself in that situation when you know that's a high total row? Okay? A high total row. Because the Kardashians uh, sitcom is totally different from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Because y'all have been treading water for the last five or six, seven, eight years to tell you the truth of the matter. Okay? But, um... Going back to the article, it says the Real Housewives of Atlanta is also nominated for the reality TV show of 2021 with 90 Day f uh, Fiancé, Bachelors in Paradise, Blow Deck, Jersey Shore, Family Vacation, Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, and the Real Housewives of Beverly Hill. Uh, if Candy and Real Housewives of Atlanta are your pick, then you can help the former escape singer possibly take home a People's Choice Awards trophy right now. Voting is now open, so head to the official voting site or take to Twitter with the hashtag of the category and your nominee pick now. But hurry, you have until November 17th. And she also wanted to express, give her more advertisement or advertisement uh, on this platform. Thoughts of a Colored Man is now open on Broadway. So if y'all up in New York somewhere, uh, make sure y'all creep on by and, and see that play that she put together and produced. I don't know if she did it solely. I don't think she did, but every little bit helps of what she feels she does. But I thought when you go out there and you do the darn thing and stuff like that, and you're not really an actress, how could you ask for somebody to... Uh, recognize you for your work because you're not really doing any work on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. You know, maybe you're showing something this season and I'm pretty sure your family and your mother and your aunts are going to have to come in and say the ratings and give us some of their foolishness which, you know, most families do give you foolishness and, you know, see us, let us see how you interact with your staff while you're over there flunking inspections and, and not passing them and charging all these outrageous prices uh, for your ambiance and your environment and your restaurant blaze as well as the OLG restaurant okay but that's all i had on this video um peeps um hope y'all enjoyed it. if you like it love you gotta have more remember to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when i drop down a video and you can partake of it at your leisure and don't forget to like my videos and share my videos guys y'all been doing a wonderful job and i want to thank you because if it if i had to come to the tube and do it all by myself without you all i wouldn't be you know nowhere okay so i thank y'all for tuning in chiming in and um you know just being here for me and we're, we're really here for each other but uh that's all i gotta say y'all thanks thanks and many thanks so don't ever think that i don't care that y'all come over or y'all view my videos and because i do care i really do and i i, I value your opinions and, and, and um, I think about certain things that y'all tell me and stuff. Sometimes I agree with them and sometimes I'm not. But that just makes us both human, right? We got to agree to disagree on certain things. That's such as life. 
but we always try to be respectful I always try to be respectful but i will see y'all next video okay peace and blessings